So let us take a few more questions in uh, data structure, the multiple choice questions. The first one is which of the following is not a type of queue? Ordinary queue, you have ordinary queue, you also have circular queue, you also have priority queue. There is nothing called single ended queue. So the answer will be B. There is nothing called single ended queue. The next question is the property of binary tree is what is the property of binary tree? These are four options for you. Can you answer? Let us see the first one. The first subset is called the left subtree. This is a property. The second subtree is called the right subtree. Is this a property? The root cannot contain null. Is this a property? Every tree or any tree, binary tree is just a type of tree. It can contain null at this root. There is no limitation like this. And the first subset now, so the sub first, this for a for any uh, node, all the left child they are called as left subtree and this is right subtree. So we'll go with this. The right subtree cannot be empty. In a binary tree, right subtree cannot be empty. Why? Because in this uh, binary tree, if we assume it to be like this, how can we have the right subtree as empty? If it is binary tree, or we say that it has to be strict binary tree, whether it has to have a zero child or two child. Okay. So in this case, we select by rejection. We are not saying this is absolutely correct, but we select by um, rejection. So this is D. State true or false? The degree of root node is always zero. Nodes that are not root and not leaf are called the internal nodes. True and false. Can you guess the answer? Let, let me go with this C first. The degree of root node is always zero. Is it true? This is not true. This is correct. Nodes that are not root and not the leaf. This is a leaf, this, are, this is root. These are called as internal nodes. This is absolutely correct. So we'll go with the answer. C. Any node is the path from the root to the node is called any node in the path from root to the node, say this node, which is in the path of root to this node, is known as the again the answer is ancestor node. This is the ancestor because this is ancestor of this and this is ancestor of this. Next is, uh, you have to answer in true or false. Please read them very carefully and try to answer. Let me go with B. How? Let us see whether it is, this option is correct or not. Otherwise, you choose another one. A node is a parent if it has successor nodes. Of course, node is a parent if it has successor nodes. Correct? A node is a child node. A node is a child node. If out degree is 1, of course, the node is a child node if the out degree is 1. So, we'll, this is false. Why this is false? Because a node cannot be absolutely called as a child node if the out degree is 1. Even the out degree, if it is more, if it, if it is more than, uh, say, the out degree of this node is 2. So, in this case, we take it as false. Next is, dash is not an operation performed on linear list. And we have taken this question already. The answer is, is this uh, none of the above or uh, traversal or any other? We have taken the question on Q first. So for that, we took the answer as uh, in the Q, we took the answer as traversal. But in the case of linear list, the answer would be the sixth question. It will be none of the above. Because all the operations are possible in linear list. So we take D as answer. Next is which is or are the applications of stack? These are the options for you. And uh, the answer would be let us take this as the correct answer D. Application of stack is absolutely function calls, large number arithmetic, and evaluation of arithmetic expression. These are absolutely the applications of stacks, so all of the above are true. Next is dash is a, an acyclic digraph which has only one node with in degree 0 and other node have in degree as 1. Is it true? Eighth one. Which is the correct answer? First, you have to read this very carefully and try to answer. The answer is 
let me take directed graph a directed graph is an acyclic digraph because this is digraph only directed graph which is only one node with in degree 0 and other nodes have degree in degree 1 yes it's absolutely correct the answer is a the next is dash is a directed tree in which our degree of each node is less than or equal to 2 the answer is binary tree is a directed tree in which our degree of each node is less than or equal to 2 this is absolutely correct binary tree true and false read these two this is zero true or false answer it let me go with uh, c first an empty tree is also binary tree this is true no problem with that in a strictly binary tree see there are various type of tree full binary tree complete binary tree almost complete binary tree strictly binary tree the i out degree of every node is either 0 and 2 this is also absolutely true so we will take the answer as c which of the following data structure are index structures index structures tell me which are these index structures data structures and the answer would be linear arrays they are index structures and you know this linked list q stack they are all implemented by either arrays or you can use linked list right so linear arrays they are index arrays next is uh, which of the following data structure store the homogeneous data elements 12 and uh, the answer would be you know the answer is uh, absolutely what you are thinking of arrays it uh, contains the homogeneous data elements but records are also the same they also um, store the homogeneous data elements so because of uh, the uh, you know what we call trivial nature will take an answer as a but records are also the same but records are known or they should say that they are uh, having the homogeneous data elements only then so we'll go with a next is when new data are to be inserted into data structure but there is not available space the situation is usually called as what is it overflow or any other the answer is absolutely overflow the the sentence here or the assertion here is absolutely true overflow the data structure where elements can be added or removed at either end but not in the middle is called as this is a very nice question 14 what is the answer the answer is dq or you know this q where the insertion is allowed at both insertion and deletion are allowed at both end this is dq or double ended q so the answer will take as d Next is operation on a data structure. Maybe we can create a data structure, destruct and select. Is it correct? All of the above. Yes. Answer is D. The way in which the data items or items are logically related defines what? The way in which the data items are logically related defines the data structure. Is it the answer? 16. Of course, we have been learning data structure now. And this is the absolute definition of data structure. The way in which the data items are, items are logically related. That defines the data structure. Next is which of the following are the operations applicable on primitive data structures? Primitive data structures. And the answer would be create, destroy, update for primitive data structure. All these operations are applicable. Next, the use of pointers to refer elements of our data structure in which elements are logically adjacent is what can be the answer? 18. It is linked allocation, which, which we call as linked list also. So, in this linked list, what happens? Each element is log logically adjacent. Logically means they are logically, this pointer is pointing to the next node, this is pointing to the next node. But these two nodes, maybe if this is memory, one node can be stored here, one node can be stored here, other can be stored here. But they are logically linking one another. Okay. So, this is linked list allocation, or list allo linked allo allocation. Arrays are best, best structures for what? Options are here. Please give me the answer. Arrays are best structures for relatively permanent collections of data. For the size of structure and the data in the structure, they are constantly changing. This is absolutely wrong. For both of the situation, for none of those other situations. So we take answer as A for relatively permanent collections of data. Next is which of the following statement is false? These are options for you. Which of the following statement is false? Please read them very carefully. Let us see the C1. Pointer store the next data elements of a list. 
This is the following statement is false. So pointer stores the next data element of a list. Is it true? No. Pointer stores the address of the next node. This is false. Otherwise, arrays are, are dense list and static data structure. This is correct. Data elements in linked list need not to be stored in adjacent space in memory. This is absolutely correct. And linked list are location of the node that contain information part and next part. This is also correct. So this is wrong. We will take answer as C. So these are a few more questions, MCQ questions on data structure. We will be taking more of them. Thank you so much.